So let me now introduce two concepts, uh, that of the average and that of the marginal. The average is pretty simple to understand. Let's bring this graph back again. Now take for example, we have five workers who produce 40 units of iPads. So what is the average amount that each worker produces? Eight. 40, 40 divided by five equals eight. When you do this for every worker number, you see something interesting. Now your average product peaks at four workers, but your total product peaks at seven workers. What's going on here? Well, simple. At a fifth worker, the total number of products you produce still increases, but a fifth worker doesn't increase the total number a lot. So he actually brings down the average even though he adds to the total, bringing down average and adding up to the total. Think about this in the toilet and you realize how it makes sense. Now let's move on to the second concept, the marginal. It answers the question, how much will my total product increase if I add one more worker, just, just one more worker, how much will the total product increase? So let's say um, uh, from here, from zero to one worker, you're adding um, three more units to the produce. So the marginal product of the first worker is three. From one to two, I'm adding seven units. So then the marginal product is seven because they are burning the total produce to 10. You see that the marginal product peaks at three workers. Why is that? Because it is the third worker that brings the most additional units. He doesn't bring the most, uh, he doesn't, you know, causes the total product or the average product to peak. But he brings in the most additional amount, a unit of iPads. The fourth worker brings in an additional 12, much less than what the third worker brought in. However, do take note of the fourth worker, even though he brings in an additional amount that is less than the third worker, he still brings in something positive. Unlike the eighth worker who crowds up things and causes things to actually, he actually bring a negative number. By adding the eighth worker, you actually cause a negative two. So the eighth worker causes, um, the marginal product of the eighth worker is actually negative two. So I would suggest you take some time to work this out on a piece of paper, write this out, and watch the checkpoint again if you are still scratching your head.